just there was peanut butter and there was um, Reese's pieces and you know Reese's peanut butter cups and all that stuff. Everything peanut stuff. Peanut stuff just got smashed across everything. Ah, this is such an incredible store. Mm -hmm. This is really too bad. Minnesota's largest candy store becomes a big mess after a car crashed into the building this morning. State Patrol is still trying to figure out how the car veered off the road and through a fence before mm. hitting the store. But tonight, everybody just grateful that nobody was inside at the time. Here's Fox 9's Hannah Flood. Well, the good news here is that the candy store is back open today. The hole that that car left behind now boarded up. Police say this all happened when two cars got into an accident right here on Highway 169, and that sent one of those cars barreling off the road, crashing into the candy store. Normal weekend in the summer, we uh, cars in and out. Not like that. Though. Right, right, in and out of the parking lot, not in and out of the store. This is a little different. <laughs> this weekend has been a little different for Jerry, the soda guy. You know, just rubble everywhere and, and candy, and didn't, you know, where do you begin? to clean up. When a car crashes into Minnesota's largest candy store with the largest soda selection and the world's largest puzzle, where do you start? It did hit the chocolate, so that hit a lot of people right in the heart. State troopers say a crash on Highway 169 caused a car to come barreling towards the candy shop where it crashed into the peanut butter and chocolate section. Right here there was there was peanut butter and there was um, Reese's pieces and you know Reese's peanut butter cups and all that stuff. Everything peanut stuff. Peanut stuff just got smashed across everything. Still hit that wall with a lot of force and uh, sent stuff flying 40 feet, you know, everywhere. The team quickly cleaned up the confection mess. So you can just see all of this stuff that you know, peanut butter cups and and sadly you know, had to toss a lot of chocolate. Nobody was hurt but chocolate lovers. But leave it to Jerry the soda guy to find the sweet silver lining. It didn't hit the soda. It didn't hit, you know, it didn't hit uh, the puzzle. I mean, if it was salsa, it'd be like, man, we'd be mopping and it'd be a, that'd be a nightmare. Ah, uh, yes, always something to smile about at the candy shop. Some relief for the owners this morning. Just a few days ago, they installed this. It is the Guinness World Record largest puzzle, more than 40,000 pieces, and I just want to show you just how close that car came to hitting that puzzle. So a lot to be grateful for here. We still do not know, though, the condition of that driver or what caused the crash. In Jordan, Minnesota, Hannah Flood, Fox 9. Oh.